Hi, my name is Emily and I juggle. Now, normally when I say that, people think I'm speaking metaphorically. What? They'll say, you mean like, you juggle life? And while、well, that's certainly true, I mean, don't we all juggle? I also juggle tangible objects. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did I get started juggling? The simple truth is that I was bored. I had taken a year off between graduating from college and starting graduate school, and it was the first time in a long time that I wasn't in school, and I simply didn't know what to do with myself. So, one day at my sister's house, I picked up some of my niece and nephew's toys and thought, let's learn how to juggle. So, I taught myself through watching YouTube videos and learned first a simple cascade and then more and more tricks after that, like a reverse cascade, a windmill, and Mills Miss. <laughs> Now, despite the fact that I'm standing on this stage today in front of this wonderful audience, I am an incredibly, extremely, painfully shy person. But oddly enough, juggling has helped me to overcome that shyness. It has helped me to find a new path by stepping outside of my isolated comfort zone and forging connections with other people. And really, this started about two years ago when I was in Tokyo for the summer, and I decided that in order to practice speaking Japanese, I would go around to famous landmarks in Tokyo and ask people to take my picture juggling in front of them. And I found that this would usually spark a conversation. People were curious of this foreigner coming up to them, speaking in Japanese, asking them to take my picture juggling, and so they would usually start asking me questions What was I doing in Japan? Why was I juggling? Why was I studying Japanese? And what did I study in school? And I would usually ask them questions in turn.、Um, so I'll share with you today some of the photos from that summer.、Um, these samurai stopped me in Tokyo Station and asked if I wanted a picture with them. And I said, Sure, can I juggle? And the whole situation was so amusing that none of us could quit laughing.、Um, this is in Ginza.、Uh, the couple who took my photo, their son had just returned from Oregon, where I go to school.、Um, and so we talked about Oregon. And Japanese and American pop culture. This is at the Meiji Shrine.、Uh, the young man who took my photo was dead set on speaking Japanese, on speaking English, but I was determined to speak Japanese, so we had a bilingual conversation. <laughs> and then finally, this is at the top of Mount Fuji. And when I started out on the climb, it was raining, and it rained almost the whole entire way up. And this made things incredibly difficult. But luckily, I had joined a group. And really, the only thing that kept me going was the camaraderie that had formed among our group.、Um, it finally stopped raining somewhere around midnight, and we reached the top just in time for the most beautiful sunrise and, of course, a juggling photo. So, as I juggled my way across Tokyo that summer, I found that the more and more I approached people,、um, the less and less shy I became, until finally I realized that I actually liked talking to strangers in the street. For me, these are always very happy and humorous and fun exchanges. And judging from the smiles on others' faces, I think that I could say the same for them as well. So, even though these encounters led, never led to deep and lasting friendships, juggling still became a bridge that connected a stranger from America and a stranger from Japan and a brief yet meaningful encounter. So, let's communicate through juggling. <laughs>